and and we are celebrating one more year of fab with Art Clay. Art Clay Silver kicked this off a year ago. The Big Beginners Kid is still rocking. We are adding to the family today. Katie Baum, who is a master artist with Art Clay, bringing in for the first time the Art Clay Copper, and we're thrilled. It has been already been blowing up our phone lines. We have sold through. <laughs> don't you love it? We sold through about half of our quantity. And what I love is it's an affordable option. Right now, the big thing is, is, is you know, the rose gold look, the, the rose tones in your metals. And, and this is so exciting because this is really a first for the world, right, Katie, with the copper? It's the first. It Go really ahead. is. Art Clay Copper is the newest addition to the Art Clay family of, of clays. And if clays come in flavors, as you will, Art Clay uh, is the only flavor of clay uh -huh. that you can work just like silver, including torch firing it. And, and that's what's great about this. So if you've got the big kit, and let's say you're not getting the kiln today, and you're asking, well, how do I torch fire this? We're going to show you exactly what to do by torch firing this right now. And, and by the way, everything that you see, including that 50 gram packet, is included for only $39.99. We're, we're approaching the 300 or so mark or the 350 mark soon. So find your place in line. We are really well staffed for this show. But now let's talk firing. The, the only difference really in the copper and the silver is it takes longer to fire, correct? It does. It does. Can we talk about that? Can you show us what we mean? I sure can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the torch and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you what the binder looks like burning off. Mm -hmm. If we're used to seeing copper or if we're used to seeing silver, copper will look just a little different mm -hmm. um, and then what I'll do is go ahead and uh, switch a little bit now again it's like watching the copper dry we don't really want to watch me torch the whole time so but, but we can show okay we can, can talk sure get things. there okay now how long do you normally have to torch it for you know we got to get it to glow and then once it's glowing we go 10 whole minutes they absolutely no less Okay. Remember, and copper needs a much hotter temperature than silver does, so I got to get right up to it. Uh huh. Now, do you need to wear glasses or anything when working with the copper? You know, the same safety things that have always applied to art clay silver apply to art clay copper. Okay. You're going to wear closed toed shoes. You're going to wear um, a cotton such as. Uh, I'm sorry, a fabric such as cotton, so that if for some strange reason you do get a piece too close to you, you have a fabric that's not going to stick to your mm -hmm. body if it burns. Um, protective glasses, you know. All the, just the same that, old thing. Just the same, same thing old, you do same with the old, the common okay. sense stuff. Okay, and it's right. a case of, of course, as we're on the air, do as I say, not as I do. Right, your glasses, right. your closed-toed shoes, right, it'll be okay. fine. Now, is there any way we can dim the lights in here? Because it is much harder to see the glow of copper than it is to see the glow of silver. Let's say, but let's see. Can you see it that way? Will it be able to show you that way? You maybe? know, it's it's right now. All it looks like is black, and what you need to be able to see is a very, very, very bold cherry red. Cherry red. And unfortunately, I don't think with the with I can't either because there's just too much ambient light in the room. Okay, and 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 by the way, everybody, that's that's the key though, is to see that red. I don't know if we can. Let's see. I see a little bit. I mean, I you, you kind of look. No, maybe I see it. I saw it a little is, bit there. I'm seeing it. 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 Is that right? I well, I honestly can't tell. To be honest with you, I can see it right here. Can you see there? Okay. The anyway. problem with the copper is that there's there's a multi-stage color of, of a glow. I mm. cannot tell if this is the deep enough red we need, or if this is kind of like the just under temperature pinkish glow. I copper is something best done, folks. When you're at home doing this, you need to do this in the dark. Yeah. In the absolute dark. This because the color. I'm talking cherry, deep, right. deep cherry. And how long does it normally take to get it there? Um, you know, it can take, because we're using the same micro torch we use for silver, it can take a little bit of time. It might take three to five minutes just to get to that deep glow. Okay, and then, and then while you're, you know what we'll do? I, I want to tell everybody that, remember, to continue calling in on this, if you don't have the big kit, that torch is actually in the big kit as well. And there, and just the whole thing end up getting that glow, or is it just part of it? I saw a cherry come through. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the I'm cherry so focused, for a minute. I'm so focused I did, on this, I did. this poor little piece I know. Um, <laughs> that I actually, I totally missed the question you asked. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, it, I, I, forgot, I forgot the question. <laughs> I'm telling you, the cave woman in me takes over, and I'm just looking at this in a very, you know, cartoonish uh, moment going, fire. Fire. <laughs> And you know what I think is really cool? Because a lot of women have been afraid uh, of working with fire. This makes it so accessible and so easy. It and, really and, is. And let me just tell you, it's not like I did to light a candle. I can use that butane torch and do exactly what she's doing right now. And there's something powerful about that. There's something, the fire, for a lot of people, when they start working with jewelry, they, they get addicted to the fire. And, and right. let me just tell you, the copper is going to be great because you're going to be mesmerized by Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, they're close up on me. Take a look at how close I am to this piece. This is not silver. If you get this close to silver, you're afraid of melting it. It will be nearly impossible for you to melt copper with this torch. Mm -hmm. I am right up on it. I'm moving nice and slow, and the goal is to get as much heat as possible into this copper piece. Mm -hmm. 
And okay. look, you can see there. Yeah, just get as close as you can. Oh, and, and wait, I, wait. You got it? I'm seeing it. I have no idea if you I'm guys. I'm seeing it. Let me turn this. I'm looking at the side of the piece and just under where I'm hitting it with the torch, you can almost see a little bit of that red hit. I saw so it. I've been on this for how long and I'm just now getting to that kind of super, super deep red. Yeah, it seems longer when you're on the air. Two and a half minutes in um, real time is, uh, is, is like, you know, in real time is one thing. Two and a half minutes on TV right. is like, and it's, it's forever. <laughs> now the problem here is this isn't two and a half minutes, this is like 10. So at this point, I'm going to say, can you imagine? Ah, uh, here we go. See how it? if I come off it, it's, there you go. it's getting real. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> so at home, do me a favor, turn the lights off. Put Jewel Skull on in the background, dim the rest of the lights to get a little mood lighting for yourself to enjoy the process. Uh -huh. And then bring this to this nice cherry red. I mean, it is going to radiate heat like crazy. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you would hold it at this point up for another 10 minutes, which is why I say put Jewel School on the background because you're going to sit here and keep learning while you're just torching. Right, right, but for right. For right now, right. what I'm go. going to do is turn the torch off and set this aside mm. uh, because 10 more minutes of this and people are going to fall asleep. I don't want to do that. Okay, to then, yeah. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to take a piece actually that has doo -doo -doo, already been fired. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to reheat it for you. So okay. you're going to see. A couple of things, one of them being is that I'm going to turn this piece really dark. Again, it's going to go through all these colors first, which is actually really neat. Mm -hmm. and it's called a heat patina, which I'm going to show it's us. It's pretty. Isn't that neat? I love that. I'm going to show us how to do this and keep it later. But for right now, what I want to do is turn this all black and nasty and dark uh -huh. glowy red again. And then I'm going to go ahead and quench it. You can okay. see I've got off to the side here um, a really large container of water. Because copper gets so much hotter than silver, we need a much larger quenching vessel. Uh huh. Okay, and then, and look, and this is going to be, and, and by the way, that's the fun part of this. And let me tell you, what I love is the patina effect you can get with copper. You get a lot of color. You don't really, you can do all sorts of really neat things with it to produce some cool color, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But the, the benefit, the absolute piece de resistance, in, in a very bad French accent, is... Um, <laughs> Is the the heat patina that I'm going to be really happy to show everybody in a minute. And, and this is so. And by the way, everybody, I know a lot of folks are just now tuning in. Imagine making your own copper jewelry, your own silver jewelry. We are celebrating, and this is so huge. We are celebrating. My gosh, one full year with Art Clay Silver. A lot of folks are tuning in for the first time to to, to ch check out these these unbelievable pieces that we're showing you. And right now, we're we're actually going to show you live on air how to quench this and how to pickle this, which which actually. I love pickles, so I just love the name of that, and I love to pickle things actually because we canned when I was growing up. Absolutely. So I thought I never thought you would do that with metal, but we're going to explain that too in just sure. a few minutes. Everybody, oh, sorry. Well, go ahead. Everybody can see now. I've got this um, this nice dark color, and what I'm going to do is pick it up and drop it. Are we on the water here? There we go. There's the water. Now the water, y'all, be quiet. We got to hear it. Boy, couple of things. Now you can see the copper piece itself. Uh -huh. And then you can see just a little bit of black speckle kind of floating in the water. That black speckle floating in the water was the oxidation. We have just successfully removed about 90% of it from the piece. Oh, good. So I could bring this out and kind of start brushing it up, and it will immediately start looking like fantastic copper. Just like brushing the art clay silver, we're going to brush the art clay copper and turn it into exactly what we were hoping for. And, and, and it's $39.99, and this is the, the, the really cool thing about this. And we knew this would be such a hit. You're going to get the tools that you need. You're going to get the pickle magic, which how long does the pickle magic last, would you say? You'll have that in a while, right? You know, you will. Um, the container, the, the amount of pickle magic that we're providing in your kit is four ounces, and the directions are going to tell you to put about 10 to 12 ounces of water with a tablespoon of pickle magic. So this makes multiple batches. Uh -huh. But then once you've got a batch made, you're going to keep using the same batch for quite some time. When you're not using mm -hmm. it, you turn off your heating a device. Either you, uh, if you're using a glass vessel on the stove, you know, the old fashioned, um, the glass pots and pans mm -hmm. that yes. you still get, that would be great. Or uh, I use a, a little mini crock pot, that's great. You don't want to use a metal pan on the stove though because metals and pickle are, are yeah. kind of picky together. Yeah, one, yeah. One metal yeah. at a time and copper's our, our baby right now. So use a, a glass pan on the stove or a crock pot, which is what I use. Um, and then you can just turn it off and let it come to room temperature between uses. You can keep using the same pickle over and over and over again. I've had pickle last week. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. So you can keep doing that. And then all you're going to do is once it's pickled, you're, that takes off the oxidation. And you're going to get that beautiful, beautiful, coppery, beautiful color coming through. 157 more of these going out. We do have about, uh, we're, we're really getting close to the final 300. And this is the perfect thing to add to your, your big silver kit. Now, remember, we're celebrating our first year, I love that, of um, Arclay. And this is such a big deal. It was really, it's made its world premiere today. 
We're talking about the world premiere of Art Play Copper, something brand new, the only base metal in, in this particular form that you can fire, that you can recycle, that you can fire with a butane torch or kiln, whichever mm -hmm. you choose. And it gives you those beautiful rosy tones. And as you get better at this, you'll start learning how to. And this is what I love, too. You don't have to be scared of, of, of wasting this because of the affordability factor of this. And this particular kit includes not just the, the clay silver it's, or the clay copper, it's the uh, copper art clay itself. It also contains the tools. Before you know it, you're going to be making pieces like this. And it's really great, I think, to add for beginners that are just getting into the art clay silver. If you've got the big kit for the first time today and you love the idea of having a, uh, maybe an affordable option to silver, or you maybe you want to dress up the silver pieces, you want to start working with two-tone. We have some amazing artists. If you checked out our design contest that we did, a lot of folks are, are masters already with the art clay silver. They love the idea of adding, and that was Ooh. me, because I'll get in just a few minutes. And, and now let's ask you this. You've got the copper tongs in this as well. Um, really quickly, I've got to ask, um, do you need, why, why the copper tongs? Is that an important part of this? You know, it, they are. We just talked about that kind of in a roundabout way. You always want to use one metal at a time. Whenever you're pickling something, it's really important not to contaminate your pickling agent by sticking another piece of metal in. Mm -hmm. So if you have um, a copper tong going in with your copper clay, that's fine. But if you have copper clay in the pickle and then you reach in with some stainless steel tongs, what you actually do is you mess with the, oh. if I get, get scientific, you mess with the ions in the, in okay. the solution and what you end up doing is turning your metals to different colors. Things it's will surface attach and you don't want that. You want your copper to look like copper. You don't want it to look like copper with an accidental side of something else. Right, right. So we just make sure that the only thing reaching in is the copper itself and then we're set. And, and then, and that's what's great, is the tools are included with this and then everything else you need comes in that big kit. And at $39.99, I'm telling you, I cannot believe the value and I'm looking at, at some of the beautiful pieces you've made. You can Thank make you. your own links with this. You can make toggle clasps. And I know you've already done one project. And I said, gosh, can we get her back here soon to do another project for online? Mm -hmm. and, and to get, like, like, I mean, because I'm telling you, you're going to be addicted to this. And this is something so affordable. You can afford to stock up, okay? Now, now we're going to show you really quickly if you missed this. A lot of folks are still online waiting for the magic. And, and let me just tell you, to me, it's already magic. I want you to see if you can. Uh, uh, the uh, the effect this is going to have. We've already now we've already pickled it right, yep. and we've already quenched well, it. Well, this is not pickled yet. This is just okay, quenching. Just, okay, so I want to okay. show how much copper you can see versus how much okay. uh, blackness you get. But as soon as you start brushing, a lot of this kind of extra comes right on off. Mm -hmm. But it's not flawless yet, and we'd like it to be. So what I'm actually going to do now is because I couldn't flick all of the blackness off, I'm going to go ahead and drop it in the pickle pot. Okay. Now, now that's what you do. There's the pickle pot. Now, I love got the cry, copper tongs. Everybody see these copper yeah. tongs? And I'm not reaching in with my bare hands. This is hot. The whole point of this is to be hot. So my that. solution okay. in here is quite warm. Now I've got a piece that, of course, has already been pickled. Okay. Now look. Oh! That's it. I'm just going to dip it in water and get, get the pickle off. Now this pickle, like everything the Art Clay family offers you, of course, we've got a pickle for you that is also eco-friendly and non-toxic. So the pickle we're using is nothing more than citric acid pickle. Picture amazingly strong uh, lemon juice, you know, times uh, yeah. 100. Well, Don't go you... drinking it. It's not lemonade. No. But no. Uh, <laughs> this is a super eco-friendly and, and non-toxic pickle. So when you're done with it, if you realize your piece is sitting in there a while, it's just not working as well as it used to, you can go ahead, mix a little baking soda into it, pour it right down your drain. It won't hurt your plumbing. It won't hurt the environment. It won't hurt any of your facilities. It'll be completely fine. And so will your piece. And, and, and by the way, everybody, the, the kiln, if you would like to get that, we have 64 left. I have never had a show where that did not completely sell out. And what I love about this, it reaches all of the professional heat temperatures you need to work with metal, but also what I love, and also the glass. So this is going to be an all-purpose kiln, and it really saves you time. And you're also getting, of course, that nice little window so you can see, you know, what's going on with the project you're working on at the time. Now, we have less than two minutes to go. Now, you're going to actually take this and brush this, and this is so this beautiful. This is it. Once it comes out of the pickle, it barely needs any brushing. Mm -hmm. We can see on one side, I've got that beautiful poinsettia leaf, and then on the flip side, I have that texture. Gorgeous.